It is 515, and parents, it's time to have a very important conversation with the kids. That's right, and here's the reason why. This Friday is No One Eats Alone Day. This is all about ending social isolation, which is the feeling of being left out, lonely, or even just invisible. It's a feeling too many kids every day feel, and, and at some point, I think for all of us, at one capacity, we, we've kind of all been there, right? Mm -hmm. Where you feel like, who am I going to sit with? Who am I going to talk to in class? And it's scary when you're a kid in school. We've all been there, and that's the important thing to talk to our kids about is that we've all been there. But first, I do want to make everyone smile this morning by taking a look back to two years ago today. So two years ago today, some of the ladies here at Channel 13 ate lunch with Lana Brooks for her 13th birthday. Her mom reached out to us and said her daughter was having some trouble with friends at school, and she didn't want her to have to eat lunch by herself on her birthday. So as you can see here, we all showed up for her. And we did just check in with Lana yesterday. Here are some words of wisdom she wanted to share. Don't put up a front, be yourself, and find a friend with similar interests you can connect with. Join something that puts you in a community like a club or sport. That way you're with people who have something in common. So this is exactly what Lana did. She says she's part of the Japanese club now. She's part of the gardening club and her high school's color guard. Oh, it just makes me so happy. So today she's celebrating her birthday. She's Aww. 15 today and, and she was amazing. She was outgoing with us. She was personable and it just, you couldn't understand why she was always alone. I know, you couldn't understand it because of her great personality, her kindness, her mm -hmm. caringness. And she also said that you have to lean on your family in times like this because they're the ones that are always there for you. I get that. Yeah, so no one eats alone day. One more reminder, it's this Friday. I'm gonna be going to Stout Ele Field Elementary School. Also, the Young Actors Theater will perform some skits in front of the kids on bullying and social isolation. Coming up in the six o'clock hour, I'll introduce you to this 16-year-old who is doing her part to make sure no one eats alone.